up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at 15 things you didn't know about Messi. I'm so excited. He is my favorite. Yesterday we took a look at Ronaldo and we learned quite a bit of things that we didn't know. He turns out to be a pretty good guy. He turned out to be a pretty good guy. Um, we, I already knew that though, to be honest. I didn't know a lot of those things. I didn't either. So wondering, I wonder what Messi's hiding. What are these 15 things that we don't know? You know, I feel like I know a few things because I love him, so I kind of look into his career. But... I think they're gonna shine some light. Uh, the video that we found will be in the link in this link in the description below. I can't talk today. Um, otherwise. Let's start this video right now. Focusing on Lionel Messi, an incredibly talented athlete who is considered by many to be the best football player in the best world right now the and world. the greatest of all it, time. And I know it's true. Lionel Messi was born on June 24th, 1987 in Rosario, Argentina, and it was clear from a very early age that he was gifted in football. He made his professional debut with Barcelona at the age of 17 in 2004. Wow. At 22 years old, he won his first Ballon d'Or, and he also won the FIFA World Player of the Year by record voting margins. He is the only player to have won five FIFA Ballon d'Or awards, and he also has earned a record tying four European Golden Shoes. Leo has also won eight La Liga titles, five Copas del Rey, four UEFA Champions League titles, and a total of 29 trophies with Barcelona. He also is Argentina's all time list. leading goal scorer. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Leo's success, ability, passion, oh and gosh. dominance in his that field are a source of inspiration. So cool. let's take a closer look at this motivational athlete with the 15 things you didn't know about Lionel Messi. All right, hit us. I'm so Number one, as a child, Messi suffered from growth hormone oh. deficiency. What? When Messi was a child, he had clear natural football ability, but he also suffered from growth hormone deficiency, which was discovered when he was 11 years old. The deficiency limited his growth and caused oh. other health complications. He had to start treatments, which consisted of daily injections in each leg over a period of three years. That's During this time, That's, he remembers yeah, being the smallest awkward. on the football field, not, but he I says this that. made him no. more agile and quicker. That's crazy. Number two, his first contract was written on a napkin. When Leo you was 13 right years away. old, he, he had, had a trial right with Barcelona, and Barcelona's technical secretary, Carlos Rechac, wanted to sign him immediately, but there was some hesitation by the board of directors because it wasn't common to sign a player such as Leo at such a young age. A few you months later, right Carlos was desperate to not miss out on signing the gifted football star while at a meeting with his parents, so he wrote up a contract on the nearest available material, which happened oh. to be a napkin. The napkin was later framed and displayed in the office of Messi's lawyer. Wow. Can you imagine how much that would be worth? Number three. Oh, sure. In 2017, LeBron James took his spot as second highest paid athlete. In 2016, Leo came in at number two on the list of the highest paid athletes in the world, right behind his rival, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, his 2016 that income that so crazy, was $81.4 million, yeah, and it dropped slightly to $80 million in 2017, allowing LeBron James to pass him by to claim the second spot with $86.2 million. Leo still remains near the top of the list as yeah. the third highest paid athlete third in the now, world. LeBron looked like he snuck in there. Uh -huh. Number four. His estate Still. was built in the Still shape there. of a football pitch. Messi hired architect Luis Garrido to design his estate to look like a football on a field. Wow. The house was named the oh, One Zero cool. Eco House, and I it cost it. 7 million euro or over 8 million dollars US to design yeah, and build. That's cool. The house is located yeah. outside the city of Barcelona and it overlooks the Catalan mountains. The mansion is in a round football shape and is built on yeah, land shaped piece. like a football That's field. Cool. Right. From an aerial view, the house along with the number one That's shaped cool. structure on the property also make out his jersey number 10. I didn't even notice oh. that. How cool. Number yeah, five. He has listed his Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale for sale for $125,000. The Maserati Gran Turismo Stradale is a more powerful, lighter, and more aerodynamic version of the standard Gran Turismo with a top speed of 188 miles per hour and a 460 horsepower V8 engine. Messi like bought one of the garages. earliest models in you know, 2012, saying, but he's ready to let the car go again. for the amount of $125,000. Other cars that have been included in Messi's multi-million dollar car collection include the Maserati Gran Turismo S, Ferrari F430 Spider, 
Audi Q7, an Audi R8 Spider, and a Toyota Prius. And then he hits it with the Prius. <laughs> Number six, Adidas pays him the most out of all of their athlete ambassadors. Throughout his career, Messi has had lucrative endorsement deals with Adidas that also give him a say in football boot designs. In 2017, wow. he signed a lifetime contract with Adidas. So he His previous seven-year contract was worth but, a total yeah, of $140 million, yeah. or $20 um, million dollars a year. Yep. This makes him the highest-paid Adidas so athlete lifetime. ambassador, with the next highest paid being James Harden of the Houston Rockets, who was paid around $15 million per year. Wow. Nice Number seven. He celebrates his goals with a tribute to his grandmother. Aww. Leo's biggest supporter that. from a young age was his maternal grandmother, Celia. From the time he started playing football at the age of four, she accompanied like him to all really of his practices and matches. You know, children, when she passed family. away when Leo was 10, he was greatly affected by her death. So he would look up and point to the sky as a tribute to his grandmother. Number eight, he wore a $3,800 polka dot tuxedo <laughs> when accepting his fourth Ballon d'Or award. In 2013, when He's Leo was honored He's with his fun. fourth consecutive That's Ballon d'Or award, side. he turned some heads with his uncharacteristically bold wardrobe choice. I still his think polka it looks dot good tuxedo though. was designed exclusively for Messi by it's Dolce right. & Gabbana <laughs> and cost about $3,800. Pretty pricey for something that. Number 9. He was the second athlete on Facebook to gain over 50 million followers. Wow. Leo is one of the most followed public figures on Facebook, with well over 87 million followers. Wow. Within the first seven hours of his page being launched, he wow. had 7 million followers, and he was the second athlete on Facebook to gain over 50 million followers. Who was the first to gain 50 million? His football rival, Cristiano Ronaldo, wow, who currently head has head. over 120 like million followers. Number 10, a this. solid gold you know, replica uh, of his left uh, foot was sold for $5.25 million. Look at this. In 2013, a jewelry wow. shop in Tokyo created a pure gold replica wow. of Lionel Messi's left foot. The sculpture was created by Ginza Tanaka and is made out of 25 kilograms of solid gold. The foot was put up for sale with a price tag of $5.25 million. The purchaser is unknown, but wow. part of the proceeds went to Messi's charitable foundation, while another part went to support children who were victims of the 2011 That's Japanese you gotta make earthquake more and tsunami. Those. If you yeah, want to find out more about the city where the gold foot was yeah, sold, click on the upper right hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Tokyo. Number 11. He met his future wife when he was only what? five years old. Aww. Messi met his future wife, Antonella Rocuzzo, when he was just five years old. Wow, that's crazy. She is the cousin of his childhood friend, Lucas Scaglia, who is also a football player. He and Antonella remained friends throughout their young lives, but tragedy brought them closer together when Messi returned to his hometown to console Antonella after her friend died in a car accident in 2007. Aww. Good they began guy. secretly dating wow. in 2008 and went public with the relationship in 2009. Five years old, though. He Man, met his soulmate at five years old. An ad old. he appeared in was voted best ad of the decade on YouTube. Messi and then Los Angeles Lakers star Kobe Bryant starred in a few ads for Turkish Airlines in 2013. I haven't seen in one those. memorable ad, the two athletes engaged in a selfie competition that took them around the world, and this became the most watched ad on YouTube in 2013, well, with 7 million views. Later, it was voted the best advertisement of the Mitchell. decade, of 2005 to 2015, okay. as a part of the commemoration of YouTube's founding. It now has over 145 million views. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Number 13, he established a charitable organization in 2007. After There's Messi took a trip heart. to visit terminally ill children in a hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, he felt like he needed to do more like to give back to the community and help children you know, in particular. This led him to founding the Leo kids, Messi kids, Foundation, which kids. focuses on giving I mean, children access future. to health care, education, no, and sports. Time out. He has you know, also his, been involved like in other crazy. charitable efforts, yeah. including like, financially supporting a football they're, club they're in the neighborhood where he grew up, and purchasing a new gymnasium and dormitory for his boyhood football club named Newell's Old. Old boys. Number 14. So he and his wife got matching tattoos to celebrate their marriage. 
In June of 2017, Messi married Antonella at a luxury hotel named City Center Rosario in their hometown of Rosario, Argentina, with about 260 guests, including many football players and the singer Shakira in attendance. There were also 450 police officers hired to provide security. Prior to the ceremony, the couple got matching tattoos on their ring fingers of their wedding date in Roman oh, numerals, cool. which that's Antonella nice. showed off on her Instagram after the ceremony. Number 15. He outbid Cristiano Ronaldo for one of the world's most expensive cars. <laughs> oh. In 2016, Messi outbid it? football rival Cristiano Ronaldo to pursue one of the world's most expensive cars for 25 million pounds, or over 32 million dollars US, wow. at an auction in Paris, France. The car is a Ferrari 335S wow. Spider Scaglietti and is known for having a top speed of 186 miles per hour in 1957. It finished second in an open road endurance race called the Mille Miglia and was the first car to average 200 kilometers per hour on a lap in the Le Mans circuit. Yeah, that's why we have to look at his garage. Now that you've learned more about Lionel Messi, do you think he or Cristiano Ronaldo is the best in the sport of football? Well, we already know it. Let us I know what you think in the I was comments. Wearing a jersey yesterday. <laughs> you comment below. What do you guys think? They're both great footballers. I think they're both great footballers. I personally choose Messi, but you know I think Cristiano Ronaldo is a great player and a great guy. Yeah. Very talented. I was interested to see a lot of facts. You know, we didn't know. We didn't know. Mm -mm. Especially his polka dotted tuxedo. Yep, I mean those some of those facts are just like, you know, how, how does that compare to the Ronaldo one we seen yesterday? How do you think? Like, we, see, we heard a lot of different facts that were, you know... I think they both like expensive cars, nice houses, but they have like a kind side to them. Yeah. You know? I thought there was a lot more hidden uh, facts about Ronaldo versus Maybe. Messi. I mean, Messi's life got pretty personal there. Of course, we were, we're not going to know a lot about that, you know. I was, I think I saw in black about his um, growth hormone. Yeah, that one. That was, that was probably the most. That's a hard thing to overcome, injection as, as a kid. Yeah, I didn't know that. And so. he met his wife when he was five. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Link for that will be in the description below. If you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.